Elle King postpones multiple concerts in the wake of her Dolly Parton tribute gone wrong. Hi, my name is Elle King. I'm I run my mouth a lot. Elle shares the list of upcoming shows on her Instagram story, giving fans the option to attend these new dates or instead get their money back. You bought tickets for this shit? Cut that shit. You, 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 you ain't getting your money back. Elle's rescheduled performance in Texas was first revealed Wednesday. The venue posting this message on the gram, announcing the show originally set for the last Friday in January, now happening months later in September. And I've always said, like, if you don't slow down, you know, the big man or the world or the universe will make you slow down. Across the board, there is no official explanation for Elle's postponed gigs. I don't celebrate a birthday in one way or two. But we do know there's been a massive fallout after her performance over the weekend. Elle's swearing, slurring, and forgetting Dolly's lyrics, all on a night paying tribute to the music icon's legacy. Don't kill Dolly. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. I swear to God, if you guys tell Dolly. And I definitely don't act like most even performers. While Dolly wasn't there and has yet to share her reaction, in the aftermath, the Grand Ole Opry apologized for Elle's language during the tribute, which took place at the Opry's OG location, the Ryman Auditorium in Nashville, a beloved landmark for country music stars, including Dolly. When I first started, was we were at the old Ryman Auditorium. You know you're out there where all the legends and all your heroes have, have stood, so it's, it's a good feeling. As for Elle, the controversy comes after this moment last year. <laughs> The singer slamming a mic and walking off stage in Detroit. And the year before, she suffered a scary fall. It resulted in a concussion. So what exactly happened? I was so tired and exhausted. And I was walking down this, our you know steps in, in the middle of the night to make a bottle. And I slipped and knocked myself unconscious. And they said I got amnesia and had post-concussion syndrome. I know, it's um, very, very strange. And Elle, she's been open about her past struggles with substance abuse. Of course, the 34-year-old also built a career out of drinking songs. I spend most of my year on mobile bunk beds with a bunch of men. They give me and they call me out on, excuse my language, I'm learning how to kind of reel it in. I can't help it. 